on the plus side, it's been the longest birthday I've ever had. On the minus side, everybody's under an evil spell. Real talk, Jane. Do you have any idea how awesome you are? Many fans see you as the unsung hero of Descendants 3. Carlos was lucky to be with a smart go-getter like you. If only you could see what the rest of the world sees. You are obsessed with magic, but the truth is, you are magic. And we love to watch you shine, so own it, girl. There is one Descendant who is more than she appears to be, and one villain kid saw that before everyone else. That's why he fell hopelessly in love with her. There are so many things about Jane that nobody realizes. Watch until the end to find out what secret magical powers Jane possesses. You need another blast. I, I please, please stop. Huh. Do you guys remember when Jane stepped into her power in Descendants 2? She was a boss in charge of the entire cotillion, and it was epic. She definitely came a long way since her days of following Audrey around in the first Descendants movie. But Jane's journey reveals something you may have missed about the fairy godmother's daughter. Let's start at the beginning. Jane started out as a shy, sweet little Oridon gal who was afraid of the villain kids from the Isle. That's okay. Don't mind me. As you were. Jane was fascinated with magic, even though her mother wouldn't let her anywhere near it. Jane had trouble figuring out who she truly was in the first movie. That's why she helped Audrey bully Mal. She had no self-confidence. This lack of self-esteem caused her to only see her value in her appearance, but we all know now that there is so much more to her than that. Once Jane slowly started to accept the VK, she started to accept herself as well. Becoming friends with Mal and her crew helped Jane to see that it's not just about your outside appearance, it's what's inside your heart that counts. That's when she really takes the lead in Descendants 2. Jane steps into the leadership role in D2 with the planning of the cotillion. She is much more outgoing and happy. This makes her irresistible to Carlos. But along with the newfound confidence comes a bit of cluelessness. She gets frazzled easily during the planning of the big celebration, and she's totally oblivious to Carlos having a crush on her. When he tries to ask her out, he has to explain over and over again what he means. It's gonna be tricky. Jane? Would you be my date for Cotillion? Carlos is so happy when she finally says yes. And let's not forget Jane is the one who tried to stop Ben and Uma from getting together by unveiling Ben's gift for Mal at the cotillion. By accepting the villain kid, she started accepting herself as well. But Jane's transformation in D3 was the most surprising one of all. Keep watching to find out more about her secret powers. In D3, Jane doesn't know why Carlos misses her birthday celebration, but even then, she still believes in Carlos, and sure, Jane can be a bit naive sometimes, but she still outsmarts Audrey. She jumps into the enchanted lake to avoid succumbing to Audrey's sleep spell. Jane calls to warn Ben and also tries to call her mom so she could get her wand and put a stop to the madness. She takes action rather than staying on the sidelines, and she saves the day again when she sprays Ben with water from the enchanted lake to turn him back from the beast to man. Where did this Jane come from? She just did what needed to be done. She didn't ask for permission from anyone. Jane has come a long way since the first Descendants movie. And can we talk about what a cute couple Jane and Carlos are? Even when she thought Carlos forgot her birthday, all she cared about was if he was alright, and he was so happy to see her. Her. That birthday gift Carlos got for Jane was perfect. Jarlos forever. It broke our hearts when Jane saw that her mom was turned to stone, but this is the biggest moment when we see Jane's true self shine. We're going to figure out how to undo this. We'll find a way to make this right, Mom. She is now the one reassuring and rescuing her mother. She has to rely on the very magic that her mother forbade her to use not that long ago. Jane represents the heart of the movie. She is kind, brave, and in charge. The old Jane would have crumbled under this kind of pressure, but this new and improved Jane finally understands the impact she can have on Oridon. Here's the truth about Jane that nobody realizes. Jane knows just how strong and mighty the power of love can be. She knows that you can change an entire kingdom by connecting with the person right in front of you. Jane took the time and effort to encourage every person she met, and when her mom was turned back into her human self, Jane was there to comfort her. She told her mom that it's okay. This heart-to-heart -heart connection that Jane fosters between herself and others makes her the unsung hero of the Descendants movies.
Mal and Audrey went through some major transformations throughout the Descendants movies, but Jane also grew and changed significantly. She didn't understand that she had power without magic all along, but by the end of D3, she knows that her magical powers are leadership and compassion. In the future, we can see her becoming a great ambassador for Auradon, sitting right next to Mal and Ben on the throne. All leaders must have courage and compassion, and that is why Jane is the queen of compassion. Do you think Jane is the unsung hero of Descendants 3? If so, leave a star emoji down below. If you disagree, tell us who you think the real hero of Descendants 3 is in the comments. Thank you for watching! Hit that subscribe button and notification bell to be the first to know when we post a new video. And don't forget to give us a big thumbs up! We'll see you later!